In this video, you will learn how to solve this nice exponential equation. Now, to solve this nice exponential equation, we will have to find the factors of 6 and 4. And that will make the solution to this exponential equation very easy. Now, note that uh, 6 can be equal to 3 multiplied by 2, right? And our 4 can be equal to 3, uh, 2 multiplied by what? By 2. So, we are going to see how we we'll impact that into that powers that belongs to x and then simplify this given equation. So, if we have a value of x to the power of 2, this can be all to the power of 3 plus we have our x to the power of 2. This can be all to the power of 2 and this will be equal to 80. Now, next, we are going to see how we bring the value of 80 to the right left hand side. So, we can do that by subtracting both sides by 80. If we do that, we are going to have our x square multiplied by 3 plus x square multiplied by the power of 2 minus 80. And if we subtract 80 from the right hand side, it will give us what? 0. Now, from this expression, you can come to see that we can come out with a, a polynomial equation from here if we let the value of our x to the power of 2 to be equal to y. So if we do that, we're going to find the equation to now be equal to y to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 2 minus 80, and this is equal to 0. Now let's bring in one logic. From that logic, we'll say a negative 80 can be equal to negative 64 minus negative minus 16. So 64 minus 16, minus 64 minus 16 is going to give us 80. So we can replace 80 with negative 64 and negative 16. So that expression will now give us y to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 2 minus 64 minus 16 and this will be equal to 0. Now, let's simplify this. Before we do that, remember something that 64 can be equal to 4 to the power of 3, right? And then 16 can be equal to 4 to the power of 2. So we can replace that into those expressions. So we'll have a y to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 3 minus 4 to the power of 2. And this will be equal to 0. Now let's collect the terms that have similar power. If we do that, we'll have y to the power of 3 minus 4 to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2 and this will be equal to 0. Great. So having done this, we are going to apply an algebraic formula. And from that algebraic formula, you'll come to see that a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 can give us some variables. And what are they? a minus b, right? And the other one will give us the first square plus the second square, the second times the first multiplied by the second square. And also from algebraic expression, we can also find that our a square minus b square can be equal to we have that to become our a minus b, right? Multiplied by a plus b. So 
from this expression, complying, co comparing this algebraic expression with our expression, you see that our A is equal to Y, and then our B is equal to 4. Now let's insert that into our original equation. If we insert that into our original equation, this equation will now give us we have the first expression y to the power of 3 minus 4 to the power of 3. That will give us y minus 4, right, on one side. And then we'll have a y square plus 4 times y, right, plus 4 square. Now, from the other side, we're going to have plus 1 minus y plus 4 right and then we'll have a y minus 4 and all this will be equal to 0. Now let's simplify this further. If we simplify this we're going to now have that expression to now give us y minus 4 is common so we'll bring out y minus 4 as a common term and this will multiply everything. So this whole term divided by y minus 4, we'll have y square plus 4y plus 16, right? Now, this whole term on its separate terms divided by y minus 4, that will give us plus y plus 4, and all these will be equal to 0. Good. So, we have two expressions, y minus 4 is equal to zero and then we'll have y square plus 4y 4y plus uh, y is going to give us 5y right 16 plus 4 is going to give us plus 20 and this will be equal to zero one linear one quadratic so let's solve the linear from this linear we'll find out that our y minus 4 plus 4, if we add 4 to both sides, is equal to 0 plus 4. And from this expression, when 4 clears 4, our y will be equal to 4. So our y is equal to 4. Now from this quadratic expression, we want to solve this quadratic expression. But before we do that, in order to know if our solution is going to give us real solution or imaginary solution, we are going to simply do what? Find the discriminant of this value. And the discriminant will give us b squared minus 4ac. Now recall that a is equal to 1, and then your b is equal to 5, and then we'll have our c to be equal to 20. So when we insert that into that discriminant expression, we are going to have the discriminant to now be equal to 5 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 20. So this will be equal to 25 minus 80, right? And 25 minus 80 is going to give us a negative 55. So from that look, a negative 55 is less than zero, right? So what does that tell us? That tells us that this quadratic expression, once you solve them, is going to result to an imaginary solution. So remember that since it's not a real solution, we are going to simply do what? Neglect it. And then we'll work with the only real solution we have, which is y equal to 4. Now, recall that from our original expression, we are told that uh, we made our x to the power of 2 to be equal to y. Now, recall that we have the original or the real solution as y equal to 4. So, if x squared is equal to y, if x square is equal to y and we find our real solution y to be equal to 4 we can simply find the value of x so our value of x square can be equal to 4 
from this expression to clear the square we are going to square root both sides so for square root both sides we are going to have this to be equal to plus or minus the square root of what four so if we square root class square to have a value of x to be equal to plus or minus two so the solution the only real solution to this expression is y equal to 2 and y equal to minus 2. Now, we are going to test to see if the solution is actually correct. Now, recall the original expression we are giving. We are going to test for the value of x equal to minus 2. We are giving x to the power of 6 plus x to the power of 4. Will it give us 80? Now, let's test for the value of x equal to minus 2. Now, if we have the value of our x to be equal to negative 2, and we have the expression given to us x to the power of the original expression, recall the original expression, x to the power of 6 plus x to the power of 4, is it equal to, to 80? Now let's test with the value of x equal to minus 2. So if x is equal to minus 2, we'll have our minus 2 to the power of 6 plus we'll have our minus 2 to the power of 4. Will it give us 80? Now from this expression, I want you to note something mathematically that mathematically if you have this expression minus 2 to the power of 6 is not same as minus 2 in bracket to the power of 6 you know why because minus 2 to the power of 6 will give us negative 64. now note this in your arithmetic and this is going to give us a positive 60 what 64. so this L expression is going to give us 64 plus this expression is going to give us, uh, that's, it's going to give us 16. So 64 plus 16 is going to give us 80. So you see 80 on the left hand side is equal to 80 on the right hand side. So that tells us that the value of X equal to negative 2 and 2 which you can check later are solutions that simply satisfies that exponential equation we are given from the initial part of this question i know you did enjoy watching this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics solutions thanks so much for watching and bye bye for now Thank you.